Career and Technical Education Month is celebrated every February. It brings awareness to the role that Career Tech has in preparing students for careers and college. Joining us in studio is Dr. William Powell from Selma City Schools. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me this morning. There has been an increased focus on career and technical education here in the state of Alabama in recent years. Why is that so important? Well, basically, it's so important because CTE, or as we say, Career and Technical Education Month, actually provides a future workforce uh, for our, our city of Selma, Dallas County, but also for the state of Alabama and for our nation as well. When you say career and technical education, what areas does that cover? What are you talking about? Uh, basically, we're talking about, um, I guess, back in the day, we used to say, uh, hands-on or shop, but now we are, we're talking career and tech education in terms of we have welders or, or construction pathway, um, we have business, uh, we have culinary arts, um, broadcast and journalism as we're here the, uh, this morning. Uh, we have government which uh, represents our um, ROTC, various ROTC programs. We have finance, um, engineering or pre-engineering. Um, so this various hands-on careers um, that represent uh, computer information uh, science that represent presents uh, career and technical education programs. I think what's great about these career tech classes is it really taps into a child's passion and their gifts. That's correct. Uh, one of the things that we do um, uh, with initiative uh, from our state education superintendent, Dr. Mackey, um, we work with a program called CUDER, which is our Alabama career planning tool, which helps our scholars to locate and find their uh, career passions or where uh, necessarily it falls um, within their, their scale or scheme of what they want to do for a living. And these are great paying jobs, and, and we, we've talked about that. You know, there used to be a push, everybody's going to go to a four-year institution, but that's not designed for everybody, and there are great jobs out there in the technical field. Uh, correct. Um, living in Selma, from Selma, and we know um, the storms that uh, storm that recently went through Selma several weeks ago. Um, as a citizen of Selma, I had the opportunity to see Korea and technical education at its finest. Um, again, want to thank all those volunteers um, that have helped us in Selma. So I've had the opportunity to see engineers on the ground helping to see which power pole needs to be removed and which one needs to go back up, um, seeing plumbers, seeing brick masons, um, again, helping to rebuild Selma. So actually firsthand seeing the impact of Career and Technical Education Month, even my own life personally. I know that's great to see, and it really fuels that passion that you have for career and technical education. What all do you have planned for students this month as you celebrate Career and Technical Education Month? Yes, we've uh, started last month, uh, um, not last month, but last week, um, and we call it Hitting the Waves. Um, basically, we had a great conversation on the radio airwaves with the citizens of Selma on our local radio station, uh, WHBB. We had an hour-long conversation uh, where we talked about the impact of career and technical education in Selma City Schools, but uh, within Dallas County itself as well as our state and our nation. Um, next week, or I should say this week, uh, we have getting to know the facts of Career and Technical Education Month in Selma City. So, for example, one of our facts um, this week that we shared with our faculty and staff and our stakeholders in Selma was, do you know that Selma City Schools has one of the first registered apprenticeship programs in automotive. And so again, I want to take time to, um, to give a shout out to George's Paint and Body in Selma, which is one of those small businesses that are partners with the Selma City Schools and the Dallas County School System to provide an automotive apprenticeship. And so currently Selma City has a scholar um, employed with George's Paint and Body. Um, so that's just one of the facts. Um, and we're spreading facts throughout this particular week, and then uh, next week we'll go into what we call CTSO week, where our CTS pro CTSO programs, that's going to be Skills USA, that's going to be DECA, um, will have the opportunity to talk about their clubs and organizations as we begin to recruit new students that are coming in from our middle school, um, as well as students that may be undecided currently at the high school on which CTE or career technical education pathway they would like to take. So that is actually going on next week. Um, and then the week after that, we call it the career assessment week. Um, so again, we'll be working with our career planning tool um, that's given to us by the state of Alabama Department of Education, which is CUDER, uh, which our, our students will go revisit and making sure that they're in the correct technical education pathways, as well as our ninth graders will be taking the pre-ACT as we talk about college and career readiness. So they'll be begin taking the pre-ACT, as well as we also will be offering the ASVAB, the Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery Test, um, to our scholars who are interested in entering the, the military. And last but not least is the culminating event on the 27th of this month, um, which is we call it a Career Expo, which is really a college and career 
uh, fair that we'll be hosting at Selma High School from 1230 to 230. So again, we're looking for any businesses, even here in the Montgomery area or beyond that or in our region that would love to come and support our scholars in Selma, Dallas County um, to come to Selma High School on the 27th and set up a table on display and tell us all about what you do in terms of your career. And our scholars would love, especially our senior scholars as they begin to get ready to graduate and enter the work world, um, have an opportunity maybe to join your company. It's a great opportunity. You're helping students tap into that passion. You're also building that workforce, that yes. future workforce, yes. and making sure they are highly edu yes. educated and ready to fill those jobs yes. that are available out there. How can folks get in touch with you if they want to be part of this? Yes, um, give my email address. Uh, it's william.powell at selmacityschools.org, and I'll give you my d direct phone number, uh, it's 334-526-0628. Dr. Powell, thank you so much for thank joining you. us. I appreciate it. Appreciate it.